you know it's like I haven't been going out like out out for so long that I couldn't find all of my usual going out stuff like my Kindle I found it like buried under a bunch of stuff and miracle of all miracles it still has 50% battery this device is a miracle Focus does not keep up. <laughs> <laughs> spending the weekend at home I think uh, because I still need to replace the chair that I broke the other time and since furniture shops are actually allowed to operate now IKEA is open I'm gonna go across there try to shop for a chair and a pillow a pillow because for whatever reason I'm not sleeping very well so I need to get a new pillow see if that helps also I guess I get to talk to the first person that is not from Clementine in months what the shit am I looking at? <laughs> this is Zui level of abomination. <laughs> it's potato with potato. It's all potato anyway. I'm limited by what I'm willing to carry home, so I'm gonna just go with that one. That's a just a simple chair. But it should work well enough. So, this is a bit of a disaster, but my laptop's LCD backlight seems to have stopped working. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but as a stopgap measure, I'm gonna go and borrow an external monitor from my friend. And then, we'll see what happens from there. Not a good day. Well, it's worth
working now, which is great. It's funny how life trips you out like that sometimes. It's like I go out and then I try to make some small and incremental improvements, investing it a bit to my life, right? I went and bought a chair, bought some pillows, and then all of a sudden, an old bastion of comfort, which is my laptop, just kind of falls apart randomly. Life does trip you up like that sometimes. So this is an Ultrabook, right? And I like Ultrabooks very much, but the downside of Ultrabooks is that there are these parts of the machine that are basically just sealed and glued up together, and that's the price you pay for having an ultra-compact machine, right? And the problem right now is that the LCD backlight most likely uh, is broken. I think the wire that connects the power to it is loose. And the problem with that is that the entire LCD bit of this device is kind of glued together. And so it's probably not going to be repairable. And if I send it in for repairs, uh, probably the only option I would have is to have the entire upper half, the entire display replaced with a new part. And that's probably going to cost a bomb and that's probably going to tempt me to just buy a new device instead again but I really don't want to because you know thanks to COVID-19 I'm not able to travel so I'm saving a bit of money now and I don't really want to throw that money away just buying a new laptop again so that'll be the dilemma for the next few days I guess but for now at least things are working Life goes on. It's been a long day. You know, I read somewhere that two weeks of inactivity will make you lose you know, all of your endurance and stamina. And that seems to check out because a few days ago I did this stairs climbing thing for the first time in quite a few weeks and oh man it was bad. My legs felt like lead and my hair was like a rain cloud. So we need to do some upkeep. like most about getting fat is not so much that it makes me look 
less pleasant. It does, but more importantly, it makes me feel so heavy, if you know what I mean. It's like my entire body is just encased in this layer of cement and it doesn't move the way I want it, you know? So that's a really bad feeling. So there isn't a single form of exercise that I really enjoy doing while I'm here in Singapore. But the sacrifices to the cardio gods need to be made in order to not have my body machine just rust away and become, you know, low powered. Whoosh, and there goes the week. So for the laptop situation, I've had a good few days to kind of sit on it and think about it a bit. And what I'm thinking now is I'll take it to the ASUS service center on Monday. I'll decide on the spot if I want to leave it there for repairs because the way it works there, almost certainly repairing is going to take quite a long time and then I'll lose the ability to use my laptop. So I figured that I'll go on Monday, give them the maximum number of business days in the week to try to fix it as soon as they can. Uh, but depending on what they say, I may or may not decide to fix it. So I'll decide on the fly on Monday and we'll see what happens. So that for the laptop. In the meantime, I, I'm able to function quite well indeed with uh, this monitor that my friend loaned to me. So thank you for that. Turns out that I haven't done anything interesting in the week at all uh, except for that one trip to IKEA on Monday because you know with this issue of the laptop just weighing on me I'm just not you know feeling that free-spirited urge to go out there and do random stuff so I'll probably go for a walk after this but it'll be the usual haunts in Clement D because I can't bring myself to one to adventure further. So next week we may or may not have a vlog depending on whether my laptop will still be with me or not. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's still really cloudy and you never know if you might start coming down any time. But it's also complicated any plans to do any hiking because if there's one thing I don't want to do is to hike in the rain in hot weather. That's like the worst combination there is. It's been a very wet two weeks. And uh, that's gonna wrap things up for this week's vlog and as spoken, that may not be a vlog next week because uh, if I send my laptop in for repairs then I won't have anything to edit the vlog on. 
So, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm rather peeved at this, by the way, because I actually set two goals for myself as far as video making goes. One is to have monthly hiking videos for the year, and the other is to do weekly vlogs for at least six months. So both goals are being threatened right now. But it's not that bad, I guess. You know, we'll just have to live with what happens. And I think that even up till now, I've learned a lot. And it's been pretty fun doing the vlog and doing the hiking videos. So, anyway, thank you as always for watching. And uh, I'll see you at the next viable opportunity. Though.